with Awakening Code Radio and Disclosure Fest Foundation. And we are here at the Los Angeles State Historic Park where we have held the Dis Disclosure Fest mass meditation. This is year number four. We have been in this same area for these four years, creating a portal of energy that we feel is uplifting the consciousness on the planet, that's connecting people from all over the world and bringing in our star ancestors and the ancestors of this land. We're standing here on Tongva land, and I am really excited and pleased and happy and honored to bring over our Tongva relatives, Tina and Joe Calderon, who are stewards of this land. And every, last year and this year, they're doing our opening blessing for this live mass meditation. Tina and Joe, Joe and Tina, how do you like that? That's balanced, right? Masculine, feminine, we're doing the weaving. Thank you so much, Michelle. You're welcome. Tehove Tamet. Nehinkum, hello, good morning, relatives. Isn't it a beautiful day? I'm so happy to be here with all of you today. May I introduce myself? Netwanya Netina, Komikrabet Naha Tongve, Koi Yoeme, Koi Mitskanakan. Hello, my name is Tina Orduno Galeron. I am Gabrielino Tongva and Yaki, which is actually called Yoeme, and Ventureño um, Chumash. Nasho and Joe. Haku, Kakti, Joe Calderon. Hi, my name's Joe Calderon. So this is a beautiful day. It's nice and warm, and we thank our sun for shining down on us. Oh, and we ask for it to be gentle on us as we stand here in the sun, but we have a beautiful, nice breeze as well. Ahikin, we thank you. Oh. So we want to start by honoring our ancestors. We remember those ancestors. Oh, Ashwaka Ekwa'a. They were here our ancestors on these lands. Mm. We honor them and we thank them for paving the way for us and for tending the land for millennia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we'll start with an ancestor song to honor our ancestors. Tehovet tamet honuk betam Tehovet tamet Amen. 
Ancestors of the Four Directions, Tume, Komi, Ketaime, Kotaime, and we honor your ancestors as well as ours, and because we never separated ourselves from anything, our ancestors are also our Earth Mother, all the celestial beings, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the rivers, the oceans, everything, and we just give so much gratitude as we acknowledge our ancestors who have given to us for millennia as well. Ooh, thank you, thank you. I can feel the energy, and I'm so grateful. Learn some of that guitar? Okay, so um, I wanted to share a poem with you, if it's okay. Something that I wrote, and I've had the opportunity to share it now about, this is actually my fourth time. Four. <laughs> Balance. Yes. Um, full circle, right? And it's kind of um, just my hopes and my dreams for what will come forth. And so let me share it with you. My little book, my little journal. Okay, so it's called Imagine a World. Imagine a world where the water is pristine and all that dwells there is thriving. Imagine a world where the air is so clean you can see the mountains and the islands across the ocean. Imagine a world where every person in your community is valued, where skills are taught, food is shared, everyone has enough so there is no need for greed, and we have councils of elders to solve disputes. Imagine a world where there is no need for prisons because we are all doing what we're supposed to be doing and we're all honest, giving, and kind. And if we're all doing our part, we will be living in honor. Imagine a world where respect, honor, and reciprocity is just a natural way of being. Is this just my dream? Or can you too imagine this world? So as we think about that, and as we raise our vi vibration, and we call in so much love within us, here, centered, where each of us stand, we are at the center of the universe. And as we let the love just shine out all around us into the heavens, into the earth, to every reach, we know that with that vibration raised, it is possible to make our world a better place. And that's what Disclosure Fest is all about. Unity, respect, bringing in everybody, inclusivity, so that we can be on one high frequency and share love. And so I want to thank you all for being here with us, because without you, the vibration would be lower. We need you. So we just had the autumnal equinox. And as you know, that's a time where everything comes into balance, where the sun is lining up with our equator, and there is balance on each side. And so with that, there's been a shift in energy. And this is our opportunity to continue 
keeping that vibe frequency high and spreading out that love. We can make the changes and we can do this together. Beginning the first, we will be having a full moon and I hope you have all been able to enjoy and feel that energy as well. And this particular moon, Harvest Moon, was being powerful for three days, looks like a full moon, and that power was with us. And think about that next equinox as well, that balance, that time to reflect and bring in the harmony, and that time to draw from the power of the moon. She has power to heal the waters and we can help by tuning up our vibration. So you have another song for us? We'll finish with our Mother Earth song, the song that acknowledges our Earth Mother who gives us everything we need to survive. And we thank her, it talks about how she gives us our food, our water, our air, everything that we need, and we thank her. I wish gone a high, yo, yo, go on. I wish gone a high, yo, yo, go on. Oh, do I my equa, eh? Are yo, hicken? A yo, yo, go on. I wish gone a high, I wish gone a high. I wish gone a high, yo, yo, go on. I wish gone a Thank you so much. Thank you for the beautiful poem. Thank you for the teaching, for the wisdom that you share about bringing us all back into awareness of how everything's connected and how we have a role to play in noticing that everything is connected. And you really brought us all back into our heart center. I think we all need that right now. So thank you again, and I'm so glad that this is year two that you've been with us, and, and I know that you really understand Disclosure Fest's mission on what Disclosure Fest Foundation is doing through these mass meditations and connecting us all. So thank you for tuning in to your own internal compass and realizing that we're all in this together, and the more that we align with our hearts, the more we're gonna make a difference on this earth. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. We did that thing again. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a beginning. You know, when, we, when we've had to learn to pivot uh, with how we're doing these kinds of conscious festivals and summits, and really trying to be responsible with our energy, but still bring everybody into that, into that place inside of us that realizes when we're all connected in this vibration of joy and unity and harmony, we can make a difference. And I think most of us will feel it internally. We'll feel ourselves coming into that place of peace and calm. 
I'm really, really excited <clears throat> to introduce our next speaker. He is a complete brother of mine and probably every person on this earth. It seems like every person that Jose Munoz meets, he remembers from 14,000 years ago because he is a Mayan day keeper. And come on over, Jose. Jose has been a tireless, tireless advocate for positive change on our planet. And he is doing so much work traveling the globe. I don't think you ever sleep or sit still. Jose, I have witnessed you, I have witnessed you doing a lot of things to bring peace and galactic harmony and joy and unity. And you carry those codes. I can feel that within you. And we have a very deep history from meeting in Arizona all those years ago when Jose came up to me and said, I know you and I want to work with you. And we have been on a journey ever since. And I thank you for all that you're bringing, all your wisdom teachings. <clears throat> I'd, like, I'd like for you to share with our, our audience some of what you're experiencing and how you're helping us to remember why we're here on earth right now because a lot of us sometimes are might feel a little bit you know we're feeling a little bit off or or maybe we've forgotten our mission or our purpose so can you sh shed a little bit of light on that on why we're all here and what this time on earth means well, Matthias, thank you everyone for come into this appointment and time to join together. Where are we going? <laughs> so every 26,000 years we come together and we remember that we're here to reestablish balance, unity, joy, peace, and harmony. We remember that our elders in this particular time come and teach the children we remember that our children come in this time and teach the elders. And by this accord, a peaceful accord between generational transitions, then it's an easier view into the future for the next 26,000 years. What is it that we're going to do for the generations coming before us and after us? So as of today, transmitting from the ancient future, and from the past, from the future past, remembering that we're still here in the eternal present in this body, this vessel that holds our eternal spirit. We remember that we're here to simply be love and give love and just be a very wise member of the female nation told us just days ago, there's nowhere to go. Stop rushing. There's nowhere to go. Just be right here, right now, in the present. So with those teachings given to the children now, we can assure a beautiful future for all of us, for Mother Earth, for the galaxies, for the universe. And according to the tradition of the Mayev, the people, the Mayan people, we are in the sacred day of Akpu, the master adapter today. Akpu is all of us. We all are adapting. We're adapting to the new frequencies. We're adapting to the new energies coming from the universe. And if we choose to accept that and see it that way, then today we're transmitting here through the heart of this closure fest, the mass meditations for peace from the site of the Dreamcatcher manifestation station in downtown Los Angeles for the rest of the world. We are here for day 181 of daily prayers. We get up in the morning and we sing and we play and we breathe and we smile and we're happy for humanity. If we can just hold that vision through this chaotic beauty of times, it's going to be okay. It is okay. And in this 181 days of daily prayers, it's from my heart to your hearts. This is a prayer for happiness. 
This is a prayer for health, mental, physical, and spiritual health for humanity, for our families, for ourselves. We hold the vision together like the condor, feeling what the future feels like, the pure air that we're breathing, the fresh water that we're drinking, and the joining together of forces everyone included, no one left behind. When we are able to be grateful for all our experiences and forgive what happens, then we are really starting to understand that this is all within us, within our memories, within our past, our present, and the future. And to walk the walk and talk the talk, we would like today to show unity, show balance, and help us remember that we, as a human race, are due for peace, balance, unity, joy, unconditional love, and intergalactic harmony. But it is, according to the elders from all ancient traditions, in this period of illumination, it's the female nation who will lead us all into intergalactic harmony. So for that reason, I would like to invite my dear friend Uyanga to come and show us, help us show the unity, the balance, the joy, the peace, the love, the harmony. This is a prayer from all nations for happiness. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. Avalokiteshvara, bless us, goddess of compassion. Avalokiteshvara, bless us, goddess of compassion. Wow. Did you feel that? <clears throat> feel that, goddess of compassion, blessing all the world. And once we step into that feeling, it's the feeling that's going to shift what's happening. Right? So thank you. Thank you. I love how Jose is so in the moment. That was not planned. He asked you about 30 seconds before he came on stage, right? That's how it works. This is now time. This is being in the now, and we so appreciate you. I know you're going to do something for us in another segment, so thank you. Thank you to both of you. I really appreciate you always being here and being that. He's the chief of galactic harmony. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you, Uyanga and Jose Munoz.